Hey, time to wake up. Were you having that dream again? Massive armies clashing on a vast field. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. 
I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with the situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. Bandits? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait. That uniform. Bandits spotted just outside the village. Damn. There are a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That's it. Stay focused. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated.
number two. Mercenaries in the building. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you where you stand. setting a very good example. Time has stopped. However, 
offer did I manage that? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this! Now what to do? You just... The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, why him? Captain Jolt? It is you! Goodness, it's been... Don't you recognize me? It's Aloise, your old right-hand man! Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Aloise. Just these days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. <sighs> I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, captain? You aren't about to run off again. Run from the Knights of Saros. Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Ah, oh, it seems your presence is required. Get going. I appreciate your help out there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary, former captain of the Knights of Seros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. You haven't heard of the Knights of Seros? Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> oh, I should mention that the three of us are students at the Officers Academy at Garrick Mach Mach. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's word. <laughs> 
You will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A Roy personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me? Naive? Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, hmm. It's... All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Part 1. White Clouds. Great Tree Moon. Three Houses. The icy winds of the Adma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fogland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlan in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery.
flow of time bring you here? It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be full. You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlin are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My right, hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we had another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. Yes. Born many years after I left this place. I, I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving the...